Hi, everyone, and welcome. I'm Greg Gumbel here with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops Tonight, we'll reveal the best of the little guys in our mid-major top ten list, as well as tell you who was the best player in the nation over the past seven days. But first, we'll start with a recap of all the great games from the past week of basketball. We were treated to a matchup between two teams in the top 25. Texas outdid Villanova. The score might not have been close, but I don't think that's an indicator of how similar these teams are talent-wise. It was just a matter of one side having an off night at the worst possible time. Wink Field took care of business in this one. His 20 points led the team. He was splashing threes from all over the place, Greg. In transition, in the half-court set, it didn't matter. He was letting them fly and watching them drop. And next up, let's look back on another great contest from the past week. Alabama beat Georgetown. The Alabama Crimson Tide weren't phrased at all by the hostile crowd. In fact, they seemed to feed off being in the enemy's building and used it to their advantage. I love to see that in a team. That's a sign of a tough-minded squad. Alabama can probably take something away from this win and build on it over the next few games. You can see by the highlights that they were really firing on all cylinders. Coach had a big smile on his face after this one, and I'm sure he's hoping this is the start of something special, too. Now it's time to reveal our list of the top 10 mid-major teams in college basketball. You're looking at the future Cinderella's of the NCAA tournament. I just love talking about the non-power conference team. This is the kind of stuff that gets me fired up for March. A couple of these teams have the potential to be very dangerous in the tournament. No one more so than the team at the top of the list. Virginia Commonwealth is setting themselves apart from the other mid-majors in more ways than one. But what really impresses me is their imposing strength of schedule. They've adopted the anyone, anywhere scheduling philosophy, and it's transformed them into a very dangerous opponent. And now we'll show you who we chose as our Player of the Week. Clark Mbai had one of the best weeks we've seen out of a big man in quite some time. He was sensational this week, not just compared to other centers, but to any other player in the country. To say he was lights out would be an understatement. He had an unbelievable week shooting the ball. He put on an exhibition to the point that his teammates didn't even go to the hoop for a rebound when he put up a shot. They knew it was going in. As you can see, he got the hot hand and never cooled down. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops action to come.